Hi guys, welcome back to question number 23 from the series and once again I have taken a question from algebra. What is the largest positive integer n such that this is also a positive integer? Can there be any smaller way of doing this question? It looks like a quadratic equation. I have to put up two quadratics and figure it out. But my point is, when he says what is the largest positive integer n? And you are given some options which all are having some integers. If I'm looking for largest, let's start plugging in the largest value. Let's first of all plug in n as 16. What would I get? 16 square that is 256. 16 into 7 which is 112 plus 12 divided by 16 square that is 256 minus 16 minus 12. So in the numerator I am getting 300 and I mean uh, this is 68 and 80. And in the denominator, I am having 256 minus 28, it is 228. It is not making it as an integer. C is gone. Let's look at 12 now. 12 square, 144. Plus 7 into 12, 84. Plus 12, uh, plus 12, sorry. In the denominator, I have 12 square, that is 144. Minus 12, minus 12. So it is 144 plus 96, 240. 144 minus 24, 120. Yes, that makes it an integer. My answer is option C. Is this too difficult to do? It is not because don't we know 16 square and 12 square? If we do not know that as well, then there is a problem, right? But in these questions, many times just by plugging in the values, you can get the answer and it does not take much of your time. This is not such a large calculation. I would have understood had you, uh, I mean, calculated 380 divided by 228. What is that value? But that's not needed. The only needed part is, is it divisible by 228? No. That means it is not an integer. Put 12. Even if 12 did not satisfy, let's say, I just had to check 8 more. How difficult was that? 8 square 64 plus 56 plus 12 divided by something. If that satisfies, that would have been the answer. If that did not satisfy, 6 would have been the answer. In any case, I do not think in this question, it would have taken more than a minute just to solve it. Though I know many students who can't even solve this question because they are always afraid of we don't know how to solve such a question. So in algebra that happens many a times just by plugging in the values you can get the answers very fast. So this was a general solution that I wanted to tell that yes, it can help you a lot. That's an aptitude way of solving it. Thank you.